What's up everybody? We are Diana and Phil. Diana is from the United States and I am from Germany and in this video we're gonna make German cabbage rolls for the first time. Kraut roll Are you ready? I'm so excited. Let's do this. All right, so first we need to get all the ingredients so time to go to the supermarket. We're not professionals here. We don't really know 100% what we're doing, but we watched some YouTube videos, so like pretty much gonna be professional. <laughs> this is like par carving a pumpkin. Okay, first obstacle. We can't get that, that chunk out of there. You're mauling it. Boom. Okay, so we have this and we have to put it into hot water so we can get the leaves off properly. And now we're gonna prepare the meat in the meantime. It is funny, every time we're cooking, we kind of have a little bit of a discussion uh, who takes the lead, basically. I feel like I'm a decent cook and Diana is a very good cook too. And it's funny because in my experience, a lot of times nowadays, I feel like there are a lot of guys cooking a lot in families and in households in general. And I had that experience in the past, but uh, I'm glad that Diana can cook very nicely too. Yeah, my dad taught me how to cook mostly, so. See, the dad. Also, since we never made this before and I had no idea how to do it, we just basically looked up uh, some videos on YouTube on how to do it and also pulled up like a recipe on the internet. We're gonna divert from the recipe a little bit. We're like gonna... true chefs do. So we're trying to make the cabbage rolls like according to the recipe, but then we're gonna try to make our own sauce using like a vegetable base. From yeah. scratch. I'm curious how that turns out. Just uh, called ourselves both good at cooking, but maybe it will suck. We'll see. Wishy. So Slowly. Oh, oh god. my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Um, and kannst du die Schwiebeln schneiden, bitte? Yes. That's not an onion, that's a prune. Onion should be round, right? Again, I always cries. I cry when I cut so onions. So the man has to step up to cut the onions. Yeah, Do yeah. the manly part. You cry too. <laughs> Don't lie. That's true. <laughs> I'm not crying. It's just something flew in my eye. Also, this is where we're deviating from the recipe. We love garlic. Knoblau. Do you think this is too much knoblau? It's never too much knoblau. Onions? Enough? Not enough? Onions? Fetish? Okay, I think I'll let you do the favor of mixing the meat. I should take off the rings, right? Mmm. Mm. Some nice meat on the ring, between the ring and your finger. Eee, mm. that's gross. We're doing half pork, half beef. Ew. Damn, that looks so dead. Looks like brains. Yum. And some knoblau. That's good. We're gonna smell like vampires after this. We have some. Oh, whoa! I'm not gonna put too much salt. Oh yeah. Mm. Okay, so we have a few more spices we want to put in. We want to put paprika. They sell lots of paprika. I want to add some cayenne to make it a little spicy. Cayenne pfeffer, oregano. Almost empty. Almost empty. Oh, really? That is weird. It said it on the recipe. And then breadcrumbs. So yeah. we'll just add some and then mix it and see if the consistency is right. Going in again. Mixing some meat. Becoming a German housewife. Do you want to lick my hands? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Ew! It didn't get anything. There's egg! Oh, I think that tastes very paprika heavy. All right, so this is what our meat mix looks like. It's pretty uh, onion, big chunks of onion, but I think it will be good. Burning my fingers for this. Yes. 
Wow. Okay, we need to cut the vegetables for our sauce. So we're gonna have some carrots, uh, celery. We're adding mushrooms, because we have some already and might, they might go bad. And then onions. Also, we're making potatoes on the side. Uh, Phil wanted regular potatoes and I want mashed potatoes, so we're gonna coordinate and make both of them. Oh, we're making both of them? I didn't even know. Mashed but, potatoes are better. Uh, yeah, but usually with a cabbage roll, I think, the regular potatoes are the choice, the site of choice. But I really, really liked those mashed potatoes that we had in Leipzig. Oh I yeah. They would be perfect with this. Yeah, That's if you haven't one. seen that, we went to Leipzig and we had a cabbage roll from Saxony back there. And that was the first time Diana ate that. And she awesome. really, really liked that. And that was the inspiration to do this video. Yes. But we also had a uh, Thuringian Bratwurst, like the Thuringische Rostbratwurst. Yeah. And that one came with mashed potatoes and she really loved that. That's yeah. why she wants to make mashed potatoes. Never can have enough potatoes. Right, for the moment of truth, here are our leaves. I think we did a good job separating them. Now we have to fold them. We'll gotta start small. Well, that's starting small big, I got a big one. Let's see. Roll the meat. Mmm, it smells good. Yeah, it smells awesome. I just wanna fry them into meatballs now. Oh, I think they will, it smells good. So, we got the leaf, and then apparently, you just put it in. Is this too small? That's the ratio. We saw a few different techniques. Yeah. Somebody pushed this in nicely and it was like holding itself in. I'm gonna enlarge mine a little bit. You're getting meat enlargement? <laughs> yeah. And then if I just shove it in, will that work? Yeah. Or do I have too little meat for my big thing? That's not bad, right? And it if looks, I tie a string around it, it's okay? It looks good. Yeah, we got string. We got braten garn. Getting profesh here. How did you fold it? <laughs> what is this? Three, two, one. Wow, mine's a little present. Look at that. Ha! You just push it in. Yeah, that's cute, right? Huh? Huh? It looks almost like one. I think this might be the best kohlroulade ever made. Yeah, I know he thinks In so. the history of humankind, you see how you see the meat through that? I'm gonna try a double one next. Wow, this is preparing us for parenthood. Wrap once. This feels kind of nice. Might be nicer. Check it. Two layer, one layer. You see the meat? Yeah, mama. I wanted to try one without a string, see if it holds up. So you can see these are, these are mine and those are Phil's. <laughs> There he is. We, we have an empty spot. We need one more. So that was 500 gram or uh, one pound of the ground minced beef. We got seven out of them. <gasps> we forgot to bacon wrap them. Damn, the bacon. The bacon. We, we have bacon. We, we forgot. Want... That's good. That's <laughs> awesome. Looks good. We're going to do it with the rest and then up in the oven. All right, so we're starting to make the sauce. We're using all the veggies that uh, Deanna cut up, the celery and the carrots, onions. Wow. Yes. This is so funny to me. It looks like toothpaste. Yeah. What is that? That's the tomato paste. And you want to see the funniest part? If you unscrew this, there's a metal seal, right? Like toothpaste. How do you get that open though? And in the lid, there's a little pokey thing. And you poke it, and then it's open. Yeah, that's normal. Fried all that veggies together, uh, and now I'm gonna add the tomato paste. <laughs> and now we're gonna keep Frying this on hot temperature and let it reduce, I guess, uh, two or three times. All right, we're running into some issues today. First of all, our stove is overheating. We just looked up in the menu, overheating problems. Now, I also think I used too much tomato sauce. We're having trouble getting it less tomatoey, so we're improvising and we're using a little bit of like sauce powder and making a little brown 
sauce I'm making a brown sauce on the side. Also don't have a whisk, so I'm just stirring this with a fork. And then hopefully we can just dump the brown sauce into the other one and then has to go in the oven. This is getting a little more difficult than we thought it would be. Alright, I hope we did this right. So this is what our sauce looks like at the moment. And I guess we're just gonna dump it on here, right? Yeah, pour it over. Woo! It's uh, chunky. It's like a chili sauce or something. Yeah, I feel like this is not looking right. We added a little more liquid, a little more broth. I, I feel like we're not doing it right, but I hope it turns out okay. So it goes in the oven now. There we go. Alright, kind of pulled that out first. <laughs> okay. I think we did like 50 minutes, so I hope this is going to be cooked all the way through. Oh, you can smell it. It smells so good. It looks funny. It looks like a lasagna. All right, this is it. So It doesn't look like cabbage rolls to me. They're buried in there somewhere. Is this what people do? Is this what it looks like? I don't think we did it right, but we're going to see. As long as it tastes good, that's all that matters. Yeah. All right, I really hope they're done. I'm oh. scooping the veggies off. Oh, they look pretty good. Wow, look at that one without the string. It turned out nicely. Oh, that's a nice hole. Bam. Wow. They look kind of nice. It looks nice, but you know it's weird? It smells Italian. It smells like Italian food. It's pretty fluid, right? Do you think you need some of that stuff? Do you just dump it in and it yeah, helps? Just, we saw this. It's like thickener for sauce. Yeah, it says let boil for a minute. This is going to be highly experimental. This is professional cooking. We're professionals. Looks like cat food. Exactly, dude. Ew. Bird food or the stuff you put in a cat toilet. Look at that. More. Oh, it works. It's darker. We're just going to cut one open so you can see if it turned out OK. Here we go. Here we go. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Are you ready? Oh. Well, wow. it looks cooked through. We'll see, it looks, looks okay. Good. Yeah. High five. All right. All right. So I made some mashed potatoes and then we have the potatoes for Phil. You wanted the potatoes? Mm, yeah. Just give me a little taste. It looks a bit like a potato salad potatoes. with the nice greens in that. Kartoffel salad. Instead, kartoffel puree. Whoa, that's good. I'm gonna take one of my pile. Whoa. You failed. All right, so moment of truth for mine here. Let's see if it cuts through. Wow, it cuts pretty nicely. Yeah. It's definitely cooked through. I really hope it tastes good. Yeah. So there they are. Cheers. Which it, this is risk, high risk of falling. It could be more flavorful. I think they turn out pretty nice. The problem is, I think, it could be better, that's the problem. It always could be better. I think um, we used too much paprika in I the really, meat. I think we didn't use enough, it's a little bland. No, I think the meat itself tastes too not meaty. It tastes like uh, over seasoned. Okay, I'm <laughs> using some of the sauce here. How, did, how do you think the sauce turned out that we made? Mm, the sauce is what's making it nicer. Ooh, the sauce is good, actually, right? Do you think we overcooked it too long in the oven? I don't know. I mean, you saw how much seasoning we put in there. I think if you have decent ingredients in the first place, you don't need that much seasoning. But I think uh, we did something wrong among the light. I think it's a little overcooked. It's not super juicy. If you look at the meat here and you squeeze it, there's not much like fluid going on. So that turned out a little dry. But yeah. you're right, the meat itself is not the most tasteful. I wonder, is it too many breadcrumbs or something? Like, what, what is the reason behind... That's what I'm saying. What did we mess up on? <laughs> it's still pretty good. I would give this like a 5 out of 10. Really? I think I like it. Really? I would give this a 6 or 7. I think I'm always more critical about my own cooking than others. So I also wonder, we baked it. There's also an option to cook it on the stove in the sauce more <clears throat> and I wonder if that makes it a little more moist. moist. I think <laughs> our struggle was with, was with the sauce and getting yeah. it fluid enough and stuff like that. So when we put that in that in the big thing into the oven it felt like almost a lasagna like I'm gonna yeah. bake something and usually I thought cabbage rolls somehow in a pot or something probably covered all in water. Yeah. So overall 
I think they taste very good. I think uh, the sauce is amazing. They just turned out a little dry, cabbage and meat. But that's the one thing I love about cooking is you can kind of create your own thing and uh, you know improvise, make things new and make it better. It's like an ever improving skill. Yeah, right? for first try, this is pretty awesome. It's not bad, I really like it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, it took us like full two hours to make this. This yeah. is a lot of work. Without getting the ingredients, just cooking it is a pretty yeah. long cook time or prep time. Yeah, so yeah. if you have any suggestions how to do it faster, how yeah. to do it better, how to make it turn out juicier, yes. um, we're happy to to read the suggestions and we're definitely gonna try this another time yeah. because I think it's still pretty awesome food. I really like the concept. I love cabbage and I love anything cooked with cabbage. I usually make like a veggie cabbage soup in the winter and just cabbage is my go-to like stir fry with carrots. Yeah. Freaking love it. And it goes well with potatoes. Oh yeah. <laughs> Did you know there's also a beef version of this? It's really? not called Krautroulade, it's Rinderroulade. And it's just thinly sliced pieces of beef mm. and then you roll it and you fill it with like uh, onions, <laughs> no, no, onions, uh, pickles, mustard and you cook them in a gravy and it's super soft and nice tasting. Oh, Maybe we try good. those another time. Yeah, that sounds good. I still love it. I think we could always make it better, but I think it's good. Like this is definitely edible and enjoyable. I just, uh, I think the other one we had in Leipzig tastes a little better. But I like it. I love this. It's yeah. still one of my favorite dishes I think I've had so far. Yeah. If you like this style of video, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, let us know what else we can cook, what we can make. We always like to eat stuff, cook stuff, try everything. Yeah. Just let us know. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.